He just wants to get in, get the win, and get out. And it's Ryder! It's Ryder with the power! Chris, right hook, and that's the one that I've seen when I've seen videos of this man. He has a beautiful right hook. What can John Ryder do here in round three? Defense is his offense, goes right back into the fire with John Ryder. Ryder again has a Kawi going backwards here. One, two, three, and he's backed up against the ropes. Ryder looking for the biggest run of his career. A Kawi down again. The most dangerous thing in boxing is a southpaw with a right hook. And John Ryder has that right hook. Sure. All right. A minute to go here in the third. Akawi's got to do something. That right hook is not. Big left uppercut. Big uppercut. And that's it. The referee has stopped it. And John Ryder leaves the United Kingdom to fight for the first time ever. And in Sin City, gets the biggest win of his life. If you're going to be a monkey, be the gorilla, just like John Ryder did right there. He's tired here, Sorokin, and the, the pressure of Ryder certainly gets him. This is where Ryder really needs to put his shots together, find the openings, drive them into the body, go the middle with the body shot there. He's down, he's hurt. Jerry O'Connor taking up the field. He's trying to get the goal shield out of the thing to give himself a bit more time if he does get back to his feet. And the referee lays it over. And John Ryder has done what he needed to do. We were getting slightly And there was a well-timed sweet punch right in around the back of the elbow and he was just trying to get the gum shield out of his mouth there and what he was doing was trying to then buy himself a bit of time if he managed to beat the eight count but he didn't. I think one of the best assets Ryder has is his patience but also and sometimes it can also be his liability where he can be outward, tussled out of it but then you know when he had to put the foot on the gas when John, Tony Sims told him you need to get going here he was listening to the corner, he followed the instructions, and in fairness to him, he did go out there, he did put his foot on the gas. From Islington, London, the gorilla, John Ryder! He's left himself open, leaning forward. Good right hands as well, and down goes Cox, and he's in big trouble here in the second round, just like he was against George Graves. Is he going to make this? That's not a body shot, that's a headshot. Knocked out, second round, all over. John Ryder with the win of his career. And Jamie Cox sees his super middleweight dreams go up in smoke. What a dramatic victory for John Ryder, who started so well and found the finish ever so quickly in a fight many in the trade couldn't decide on a winner. And down went Cox, a befuddling type of punch. Well, it was a delayed reaction, which you saw then. It just shows how them punches can scramble the sensors. You know, the central nervous system there, deceiving him, shutting down. As he's trying to stand up here, he was facing you and I, Adam, as he tried to get up, and you could see that he had a vacant look in his eyes. His legs were gone. He didn't know where referee here, John Lewis, was there with the count, and that's why he argued, but he didn't beat the count. His eyes weren't looking, really. Was there a slight mistiming? I don't think so. He was still in a real daze here. And just as he got up, that was, well, that's the rules. You count to 10. Ian John Lewis stops the fight. And it was that one little shot from John Ryder, who'd started really well and really effectively. But Cox crumbles again. And Ryder has got the confidence, and yet Ryder, for me, he's a fairly small super middle, isn't he? I mean, he's, you know, he could probably still make the middleweight division, John Ryder, at a push. Certainly Nielsen. Oh, oh what a punch. He's just come out. Nielsen is out. And this fight is going to be over. The last piece dislodged. Six, seven, The bell is gone to end round nine, ten, number 
number five, but in the fifth round, John Ryder has produced the biggest victory of his career with a devastating finish over the number one ranked WBA contender, Patrick Nielsen, stopped for the first time in his career. He suffers his second career defeat, but there is absolute jubilation over in that red corner because the accurate punch picking of John Ryder has paid handsome dividends here at the SSE Wembley Arena tonight.